Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to edit the T25 WordPress theme header. Okay, so this is a very common issue that um some beginners or some people who are not familiar with uh FSE front end site uh, editor, not sure how it works. So I'm going to share with you how to edit the header in this tutorial. So first you need to log in to your dashboard and go to appearance editor. So once you click on appearance editor, you will see a screen something like that. And you go to patterns over here, click on patterns and you can find header. So just click on header. Okay. So the one that's default is this header so you just click on this header again and now you are able to edit this header so let's say i want to add a logo okay so how do i add a logo is that you can click on the add button over here and you can search for logo then you will appear a site logo so you can just click here okay for you it will be a blank image so just go ahead and upload your logo here so once you have uploaded the logo you can just drag it to where you want it to appear okay so over here when you selected this logo you can find there's a drag option over here you can click and drag you can put it elsewhere you can put it over here you can also put it over here okay so uh, really up to you so this is the logo option you can adjust the image width for your logo for me i wouldn't want to make it so big so i will just put 75 pixel i will link the image to home which means that when people click on your logo it will go to the home page okay and i will use it as a side icon as well okay so that's all for now for this logo then for the text over here you will notice that by default it says 20 25 theme and you can just change the text accordingly for example for my website is daily yoga so i just put in daily yoga okay so up to you you can just put in your website title over here okay then you can just save save again so once you are done with the logo on the left and also the site title and on the right you will see there's a navigation menu so if you expand on the layer over here under group okay you can click on this item it's called the navigation block so after the navigation block i will do another video on how you can edit the navigation so for now if let's say on the right of the navigation block you want to add in other stuff you can also do so by clicking add block and there are a few things you can do you can add a search button over here okay on the right you can add a search button if you want to if not you can also add in other stuff let's say a custom link you can also do so okay so for me i just want to show an example i will add in button okay so this is the button i want to do something over here and let's say i want to put in a call to action to get people to click on this button to join my yoga class and if you click on this link you can enter the link over here so right now i don't have a link i just put a simple symbol over here okay so to change the text color and the background color of the button click on this button over here and click on this style so over here you can change the text color so for example the background color i change it to yellow and then the text color i can change it to black okay so that's how it looks like so once done you can just click save save again and go to my website do a refresh and you can see that now the logo the subtitle and the button is here 
So I hope that you find this uh, short tutorial useful in managing and changing your website header for 2025 team. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments area below. Thank you.